This is today's payment workflow. It involves Gmail, Google Sheets, a Card Connect merchant account, and a free Chrome plugin. Welcome to another workflow video. I'm Brian Manning, and today we're gonna to go over this workflow, which I'm calling the Gorgeous Hosted Payment Page because it involves a free Chrome plugin, which is called Gorgeous, at least I think that's how you pronounce it, and a Card Connect merchant account along with Google Docs and Gmail. As usual, all of these tools are linked up in the description, so you can click on them and sign up for them, whether they're free or paid. All the links are always in the description and the associated web page all linked up for you. So we're gonna start off with the asset list, and these are the software tools, once again, that you're gonna need in order to put this entire workflow together. So starting off, you're gonna need a Gmail account, and Gmail, of course, is free, so just go and sign up for one. And the reason that we're using this is because we're also gonna use Google Sheets in order to prepare the invoices. So you start off with Gmail and you're automatically gonna get access to a Google Drive folder, which will give you access to Google Sheets. And this is where you can store all of your invoices and we'll go through preparing one in just a second. The next tool that you're gonna need is the Gorgeous plugin. And this is specific to the Chrome browser. So this is an optional step actually, but it makes things a lot easier to send out emails and, and it's an auto populating template that allows you to create a, a template invoice email and just very easily pull it up and send it out. And finally, in order to process payments in this workflow, we're gonna use the Card Connect Merchant Account with the CardPoint hosted payment page. So as I mentioned, this workflow is particularly useful for businesses who like a simple operation. So it's great for small businesses, startups, independent contractors and consultants, uh, entrepreneurs that are just getting started, service providers, sole proprietorships, and so on. So companies that like that really simple process, not a lot of technical setup or any, there's no customization or any special coding that you need to do. These are all off the shelf tools and you can piece them together just like I'm showing you. So this workflow is ideal for a business if you're set up to invoice your customers where you email them an invoice and then you wanna give them a link to click and pay for the invoice online that's hosted for you and all set up. That's exactly what this workflow does for you. So the scenarios are gonna be card not present environment or a key entered or call center environment, uh, service and invoice scenarios where it's non-retail. So you're not working with a point of sale system or a credit card terminal. This is all sort of back office or card not present environments. So this is what the blueprint looks like for your customer. Now there's certain emails and certain website pages that your customer is gonna see and that's what I'm gonna go through with you right now. And then there's pages and software and sort of everything behind the scenes that you're gonna set up and I'm gonna go through that in just a second. So the blueprint for your customer is really a couple of steps. Number one, they're gonna have the transaction where they actually order the, the good or service and that's gonna take place prior to you preparing the invoice. Next, they're simply gonna receive an email which is step number two they're gonna click the link that you provide in the email and they're gonna be taken over to a website page which is, in this case, the CardPoint hosted payment page. And then they're gonna fill out their information and they're gonna click submit and pay for the invoice. Then the next page that they're gonna see is simply the thank you page that again is also set up and hosted for you by Card Connect and, and CardPoint. And then they're gonna receive an email notification of confirmation of the payment and this also is set up internally through CardPoint. So again, from the customer standpoint, they're simply just getting an email, clicking the link in the email and going over to a hosted payment page where they can enter their invoice number and the dollar amount and fill out all their information and make the payment 24 hours a day, whenever they'd like. Now the blueprint from your perspective or behind the scenes as we're calling it, is that step one, you still interact with your customer and you sell the product or service and then you immediately move into preparing the invoice. So we're gonna prepare the invoice with Google Docs in this case. So you have a couple of templates that you can automatically download from the Google Docs marketplace. And I'm, I've even given you access to a couple of templates, which I'll link up in this video, and you can just use those templates and change the data. You can populate the customer information, 
uh, and just take a few minutes to prepare the invoice that's according to whatever product or service you've sold. Once that invoice is correct and ready to go, then you can either store it in your Google Drive and you can provide a link to that invoice, which is all online, and you can just give your customer access to that link, or you can download that invoice, save it as a PDF, and simply attach it to the email that we're gonna go over here in just a second. So that choice is yours. It really just depends on where you wanna store all of your invoices moving forward in, in an ongoing basis. So step two is where Gmail comes in. So just pull up the Chrome browser, compose a new message, and type out your invoice. And I have a sample written here for you, which you can just take and use. Again, this is linked in the description. I have a link to a video that shows you exactly how to use this gorgeous plugin and how to set up the invoice templates. But here's the basic idea. So how it works with Chrome is that when you have your new message up and you're in the Chrome browser and you have that gorgeous plugin installed, all you have to do is come down to the body of the email, type the keyword that you have assigned within the gorgeous plugin interface and you type that word in this case it's going to be invoice and i just hit the tab key and it auto populates the entire message with my payment link which is a permanent link and i'm ready to just type my recipient's name in put the subject line on and if i'm going to attach the invoice with a pdf I just drag it in and attach it and I'm ready to click send. It's that simple and that easy. So if you needed to send four or five or 10 or a lot of these out at a time, you wouldn't have to retype that same email and you could also do this by just copy and pasting from a text editor, but this stores it right in the email browser for you. So all you have to do is type one short keyword, hit tab and it auto populates everything that you need and then you're just dragging in the specific invoice that is associated with the recipient or the customer that you're sending it to. So when your customer gets the email, as I said, they click the link that's automatically populated in your Gmail within that template that you've set up, and it's always the same link in this particular setup. And that's why this is such a clean, simple, and easy workflow is that that link is permanent for you, and it's hosted by Card Connect and CardPoint. So 20 people, 100 people could be using that link simultaneously and it's always on, it's always hosted for you and the security and everything is taken care of by Card Connect. So that's what makes this whole workflow possible is that that link is permanent. There's nothing you need to change every time you wanna use it. So this is what the hosted payment page looks like. Again, it's a standard template page and all of your customers are gonna be able to use it the same. It's mobile responsive and it'll do the job perfectly. Once your customer fills out all their information, they're redirected to a thank you page that is also hosted and taken care of for you by Card Connect. So your customer just sees make the payment, then they get redirected to the thank you page and their part is done. So once that payment is made, you can check the, the payment within the card point reporting tab and dashboard to just verify that everything came through and that that transaction is gonna settle out properly. So a quick recap is that once you have the transaction with your customer, you go in and immediately prepare the invoice within Google Docs. You either save that in the cloud or you save it to your hard drive in a PDF format. You jump into Chrome, prepare the email with gorgeous or you can copy and paste it and it has that permanent hosted payment page link in your template you attach your invoice click send once you've typed in the recipient and it sends off that email to your customer and once they get it all they have to do is click that payment page and they can pay that at any time of day, it's 24 seven, it's always live, and that page is hosted for you. And finally, your customer's gonna get an email notification once that payment has been successfully made, and you're gonna be able to log into CardPoint on the reporting tab and check whether that transaction came through properly and is set to close out that night. So that's the workflow, and as I said before, this is a very simple process and a simple workflow because we're using all free tools through G Gmail and Google Docs and the free plugin and Chrome internet browser. So the only paid part of this are just the minimal monthly fees that you have with the Card Connect and, and Card Point hosted payment page. If you need to set up the merchant account or have any questions about any of the, the tools or the process that I just went through with you, 
uh, be sure to comment below and I'll check those. And you can also click the links to schedule an appointment with me if you have any questions about either setting up the Card Connect Merchant account or you have questions about setting up the hosted payment page or how to connect any of this. There's links in the description to get in touch with me and I'm happy to help out. So this is a series video and there's lots of other workflow videos just like this one that use different software tools and different merchant account and payment processing options. So if you wanna expand on this one or you want something that's a little bit different, check the links in the description because the associated workflows website page is linked in the description as well as other videos that cover payment processing workflows just like this one. So that's the simple workflow. Thanks for watching. Be sure to share this video with a friend if you know somebody who may be able to use this workflow exactly as it sits. Comment below if you have any questions about any of the software and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. I publish regular tutorial style videos all related to payments hosted payment pages and software tools and everything to do with uh, taking payments online and off. I publish regular tutorial style videos. So be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of those videos. I'm Brian Manning and I'll see you soon.